subscribe to get contents via mail. Purchase shorthand journals and more. That the dispute has arisen on account of inequitable distribution of the first floor by their father, wherein two shops are being run by respondents number two and four, but a portion thereof was not allotted to the appellant who claims one third share in it. It was urged that in the alternative, the respondents are liable to compensate him monetarily for his financial investment in the construction, that the appellant furnished sufficient evidence before the learned trial court to establish his case, which was, however, disregarded. Even assuming that the evidence was inadequate by right, he was entitled to one-third share in his father's property, which was denied to him. The learned trial court reasoned that Exhibit A said to be executed by the appellant's father in their presence had distributed the property at his discretion, that the learned trial court failed to appreciate that exhibit was executed by the Sikkim and not executed between the father and his sons only, dividing the property in mates and bounds, while drawing the attention of this court to the determination of the issues framed, it was contended that issues number 3 and 4 were erroneously concluded, observing that the appellant was not entitled to a share of the schedule. The parties having been given their respective shares therein that the learned trial court failed to appreciate that his evidence before the subdivisional magistrate had stated clearly that he would draw up a will later for distribution of the property and exhibit A was only a stop cap arrangement for the purposes of residence and business not ownership, therefore the question. The appellant having been allotted, his respective share did not arise, that although the learned trial court relied on exhibit, it chose to ignore the deposition with regard to legal distribution of the said property. In the next leg of his argument, Learned counsel for the appellant contended that the learned trial court erred in concluding that the appellant had not constructed the schedule A building when, in fact, adequate evidence, including documentary evidence, was furnished to buttress this point. Hence, the judgment of the learned trial court be set aside and the appellant be given his fair share. Repelling the arguments of the appellant, learned counsel for the respondents submitted that in prayer of the plaint, he seeks one third share on the first floor of the building to be given to him for his absolute occupation and use. 